Welcome back to YouTube News of the Month, where I tell you a few big things that happened on YouTube this month. In this month, it is December. First of all, YouTube reached 1 trillion Minecraft views, and their video is actually really good. Not only does it show highlights from the newer generation of Minecraft YouTubers, but it also shows the old Minecraft YouTubers. Next we got a channel known as Sugar. They haven't uploaded in 11 months. The last time they uploaded was in December of 2020. However, nearly a year later, they have returned. Sadly, a lot of their videos were privated. This is because they didn't want to be a YouTube story time anime or anymore. Like Jane Animations and the albums out tell stories about themselves. She doesn't want to be a story time animator. She talked more about this in the description of this video right here. Last we got oh a mess. It is it is just a mess. Lego Maestro, literally the person who inspired me to make this series, got in a little bit of drama. And not really a little bit, but a lot. Basically Screenshots of weird things he said and done have been piling up and Lego Maestro just ignored it hoping the drama would go away, but it hasn't. So he has made a video on it responding to all the drama. In the video he apologized for some of the stuff and for the other stuff he showed why it was fake or just taken out of context. Still some stuff he didn't get to, but the response was definitely a good choice. His videos were getting more dislikes than likes, and now it's back to mostly likes. But then there's this other channel known as Name Brand. Now, while Lego Maestro was going downhill, Name Brand started doing Hypixel News, which is what Lego Maestro was doing, Hypixel News. So basically, Lego Maestro was seen as going downhill while Name Brand was rising up. And Name Brand actually responded to Lego Maestro's uh, response video. But then he got into some drama. He seemed like the most chill and nice guy on YouTube, but then boom, drama on Twitter. And then shortly after, all his videos got deleted. Not joking. Or they got unlisted or privated. I'm not sure. Maybe they got privated. And we weren't sure why he was doing this. He said he didn't want to do Hypixel News anymore and that he was going to be doing completely different stuff. We weren't sure if this was because of the drama and he just wanted to start over or he just didn't want to do Hypixel News anymore. This did happen right after the drama though, which is the only reason I'm bringing the drama into this because it could be part of the situation, but probably not. Anyway, all his videos got deleted or privated and his profile picture changed and then a weird video came out and it really looked like he got hacked. However, he came out with another video and basically he was just doing this as a joke? Question mark? This was his way of completely redoing his content. And now it's really weird, edgy videos. It's so weird. His style completely changed. It is crazy. All of his other videos are gone. I think he had like videos old. I saw like seven months ago videos, probably year old videos that are completely gone now. Just It's just a weird situation. So I guess that means the Hypixel news is now back into the hands of Lego Maestro. Also huge thanks to Laser Penguin. He uploaded a lot of videos talking about Lego Maestro's downfall and other stuff I believe involving name brand. He's basically Timeworks. But Timeworks does YouTube news and Laser Penguin does like Minecraft Hypixel news. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. Hypixel SS. Pretty sure the SS stands for stream sniping. He's in the title of the newer videos and some people thought that he hacked Name Brand's channel. Somehow Hypixel SS is involved in all of this, kind of not really. But this is just so weird because I remember Sammy Green's video where some guy was like trolling him. I believe he was hacking against him, but it was also in a weird, funny way. But And that person who did that was Hypixel SS. And now Hypixel SS is still on the platform. I don't think he's hacking anymore, but I do believe he still stream snipes. It is just so weird because I remember watching Sammy Green's video and then checking out Hot Pixel's point of view and, and now he's he's still around. The whole name brand thing gets confusing. The Lego Maestro thing gets confusing, but it's not as confusing. I'll leave a link below to all this stuff. This video by name brand right here, I'll link it down in the description. It's pretty important if you want to keep track with all this drama. And he also talked about doing a collab with High Pixel SS and I guess that's one way how he fits into the story. Also this happened just before January 1st. Technoblade reached 10 million subscribers. 
It was actually his goal to reach 10 million subscribers before 2022, and he literally reached it less than 24 hours away from 2022. He wanted to reach it in 2021, and he did. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. Do be sure to leave a like and subscribe, but only if you want to. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.